So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make stuff kind of like this forearm bracer right here. And some of these same skills will transfer over into teaching you how to make stuff like these, which are leg pieces that have zippers. So you can slide your leg in and out a lot easier. All right, let's get started. All right, welcome to the shed where my cutting mat is disgusting. But the thing is, is about this cutting mat, I've actually used this for like the last 10 years. So I need a new one. Support me on Patreon so I can get a new one. That'd be cool. First things up, this is what you're gonna need for this project. First things first, uh, scrap of paper. You're gonna need that to write some things down. Pen, because you're gonna need that to write some things down. Sharpies, black or metallic, depending on you know what color foam you're using. If you're using black foam, use the metallic one. You'll be able to see stuff better. Uh, next is the cutting knife. It's my favorite one, same one I've been using for a long time. All right, uh, next up, straight edge, metal ruler. These things are great, always go get one. Uh, next thing is you're going to want a minimum of 12 inch long strip of foam. It's because we're going to be making something in order to make something. But this is going to be something you're going to want to keep. So we'll come back to that later. And lastly, about one sheet of foam for one arm. Okay. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make that one arm bracer. And the cool thing about making the one arm bracer is that, like I said, you just need that one sheet of foam and the stuff right in front of you. And the skills you're going to be getting out of it are going to be able to be transferred over to making leg pieces. So first thing is up is that we need to make a foam ruler. What's a foam ruler? Well, a foam ruler is straight up a ruler made of foam. Crazy, right? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your ruler, you're gonna line it up to where you got your 12 inches, right? Then on every half inch and every inch, you're gonna put a mark. Try to make a bigger, longer mark for the actual inch areas. So we're almost done with our ruler. Okay, so there we go, there's our ruler. That's really all you need to do for just this. Um, you know, you can even go so far as to clean it up a little bit. Like I don't want all this extra stuff just dangling off the sides of it, so I'm just gonna cut away. Try not to cut all the way into it. Cool, so hey, I can make another one if I want to later, neat. So here's your foam ruler, hey! So here's what you're gonna be doing now to make your forearm pieces, okay? You need to get the circumference of your wrist, the length of your wrist, and then the circumference of your forearm, okay? So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna take your little foam ruler, you're gonna flip it around to where the outside is facing towards you, and you're just gonna wrap this. So you're gonna put the higher numbers down first, and get your lower number, and just kinda roll it, and it's, it comes out to about seven and a half, eight, okay? Seven and a half or eight on there. But the problem is with seven and a half and eight right there, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to get my wrist back out, right? Or excuse me, eight and a half. It's gonna be hard for me to get my wrist out or my hand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up one inch. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but once you get rid of that one inch right there, you're gonna get a lot more slack and foam is stretchy. So you should be able to stretch your hand right out of there. So I'm gonna say nine and a half is our first number. 9.5 for wrist. Okay, now length, and then forearm. Okay, cool. So now let's do the forearm so you can get a better idea of where your lengths are gonna be, okay? Same kind of technique, just like you did before. Lay down your arm, bring your ruler up and over. Oh, this one's tight. So it looks like it's gonna be tight right at 12. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put down 12. All right, last part. Now, I'm going to measure from the wrist up to the forearm. And that looks like it's about, I'd say about nine inches. So I'm going to say nine and a quarter. I'm just going to give ourselves a little bit extra room, nine and a quarter. All right, here's our magic numbers for the wrist. So let's get started on that. Here is the black foam. This is the stuff I like to use. It's five millimeter thick, a little bit more dense foam. Uh, got my magic numbers right here. Let's set that over the side. Got my straight edge. And I got my pen. So here's how this is gonna work. We need to find the exact middle of the foam. Now this, I wouldn't usually do this with myself because I already know my numbers for the most part, but for the sake of showing you guys, um, it's a lot easier when you use the whole sheet for just one arm. And then sometimes you can even cut two stacks on top of each other and make two pieces out of one major cut. 
but for now we're just going to focus on just making this one. So you want to find the middle. Now this sheet right here I know for a fact is uh, 12 inches by 18 inches, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark it at 9, because that will be our halfway mark right there. Okay, there's our halfway right there. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get this as straightened out as I can, and make a straight line going up and down the middle, because that'll help. Alright, cool. So there's my line going up and down the middle. So, we know that the wrist part, or the forearm part, is going to be about 12 inches. So, I'm going to find the middle of the ruler where it says 6. I'm going to line it right up in the middle of that line I marked. And I'm going to mark the 0 and the 12. Okay, there's a straight line going right there. Now, we got that middle part. And we know that the wrist is going to be nine and a half, and we know the length is going to be 9.25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ruler, and I'm going to find nine and a quarter. It's nine and a quarter for me. Is right here, so I'm just going to mark it a little bit. All right. So that's been marked. Now I know that's where the wrist is going to end up. So now I need to put the middle of nine and a half. So. Four and three quarters, right there. And we're going to mark at the zero and at the nine and a quarter. Cool. See that? See where I'm going with this? It's going to be really simple. All right, so next, you're going to start making your lines. So we're going to go wrist. So the wrist has a line. And then you go from this corner to that corner. Where they lined up. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it'll give you pretty much exactly what you're looking for. So do the same on this side. Mark there and there. And then... All right, cool. And that's it. Your template's pretty much done. So where do we go from here? Well, that's easy enough. We cut. Alright, cool. Now, take your scrap, put this away somewhere else, because there's a lot of scrap foam here. You can use this for other stuff. But that's done. That's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much cut out. And then all you gotta do is just rotate and glue these parts together right here. And then trim the edges with uh, either a pair of scissors or a knife. Or you can, you know, kind of just lay down as flat as you can after folding it like this. And you can just make your own new line. Just mark it. Be like, I want it to end here, and I want it to keep going across there, and just keep marking a little bit around it too. It'll give you a uh, better gauge of exactly where you want to cut. And then on the inside too, put a little mark, so then you know that's yours, your spot where you want to trim that away. a lot more clean looks a lot more like it's actually going to be you know a cuff piece not just like a really random rounded edge with a point on it see look if you do it on this side without that fixing it looks like a point on the inside you can also do the extra extra lazy way of doing this where you get these two edges together really really good and you just kind of like lay it down flat as flat as you can like I said this is gonna be ugly I don't recommend this but you can totally do it and you just kind of gone comes out a little bit ugly like that we do it that way but once you get it all together it really does not matter so uh now as far as putting it together you have options if you have no issue with friction and just forcing your hand in and out then just go ahead and contact cement it glue it together and see how it does if you have a little bit of issue cut away a little bit of that area right there at the bottom you should be able to poke your hand through if you still can't get your hand through then what you're going to do is you're going to glue just this edge together right here and then you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to get some hooks and eyes, which I'm going to put a picture of right here. Um, they're the things that we put on bras, so we can actually hook them together and take them apart. Um, they are a little bit annoying, but you can put some thread on the end of them with maybe a little strip of fabric, and then throw some super glue on there, put one on this side, one on that side, and then click them together, and then these things will stay together. Or you can do my favorite thing, 
which is taking a zipper and taping the zipper's teeth down and then taping the actual um, pull part of the zipper, gluing one side of the back of this and one side of the back of this part, and then inserting your zipper with glue on it in there as well. Do one side at a time, and then when you're done, unzip and then zip, and it should stay in there really, really tight. Uh, it, I always, 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 always recommend contact cement. So speaking of contact cement, let's go ahead and get this glued up. Yikes, somebody help me. Oh, Jeebus, that's a bug. Oh, I got those. Okay, cool. Now we just gotta let that dry. See you in a few. Okay, so this is mostly dried up, so I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to put this together. I usually like to start at the wrist, or the top of the wrist, and then work my way down to towards the hand. Uh, the reason why I like doing this is because uh, if the wrist needs to be popped out, I can always test it later. And I can also just cut it away if I need to. When you do this, you want to try to keep these seams as even with each other as much as possible. Because it gets, uh, it can get a little bit wonky. So, uh, as you can see, I didn't really wait here as long as I should have for the glue to dry completely before I start putting these things together. But, for the most part, it's sticking and staying. So, yeah, there we go. That's a, that's a forearm right there. It's exciting, isn't it? Now, like I said, um, if you have issues getting your arm through here, and you want to keep the same kind of tight shape and design, go with a zipper, maybe do some hooks and eyes, so then you don't actually need to glue these edges. You just need to have a little bit of glue on the back with fabric and the hooks and eyes, and just hook them together. It'll hold it together really nicely. Heck, you can even put Velcro on the top of that seam right there, and maybe make another foam piece with Velcro on it too that holds it down. You have options, but for the base shape, this is pretty much it. So um, let's try and jam my hand in here and see how it comes out. I probably should have added a little bit more space on this back part right here, because I forgot that my arm can flex. So I would actually consider this one a failure. Don't forget to add yourself a little bit more room on both sides, not just the wrist. I decided the next video is going to be about leg armor and zippers and hooks and eyes. So you guys are gonna get an even better idea about how to do it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, please consider uh, supporting us on our Patreon. It would really help. All that money goes towards funding these, this kind of stuff. So thanks again for watching everyone. Bye.